What is up party people and welcome back to the channel. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create really nice pop-ups with the new Elementor Flexbox. So in this video, I'll show you guys just how to create a normal simple pop-up that you guys can use to capture emails or do whatever you want or show uh, sales on your website. Then I'll be showing you guys how to create a really cool side nav menu on your website where if someone were to click on something on the right side of your website, a really cool menu would pop up. Now this is a menu, but it's also a pop-up. You can use it as both. And I'm actually a big fan of the pop-up nav menus on the right side of the websites. If you guys check out our templates on our website, a majority of our templates actually use this strategy because it gives you a little bit more control over your menu versus Elementor's typical menu elements. So what exactly is an Elementor pop-up? An Elementor pop-up is a customizable interactive window that can appear on your website at specific times or under specific conditions. Pop-ups can be used for various purposes, such as promoting special offers, capturing email addresses for your mailing list, displaying important announcements, or even showcasing your latest blog posts. We will also show you how to create a side nav menu for your website using pop-ups. You can get really customizable and make complex side nav menus using the pop-up builder. So I'll walk you guys through how to create one in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll guide you step-by-step -step through the process of creating, customizing, and publishing an Elementor pop-up. We'll cover topics such as choosing a template, setting up triggers and conditions, and implementing advanced features to make your pop-ups stand out. By the end of this video, you'll have all the knowledge you need to create engaging pop-ups and effective pop-ups using Elementor. So if you guys are total noobs and you guys don't know how to use the pop-ups or don't know how to make side nav menus, this tutorial is for you. And without further ado, let's get started. And here is our demo website. Now, when I visit this website, you guys notice right away, there is this pop-up where we can enter our email address and subscribe. This is all created using the Elementor page builder. Also, I'll close this. And on the right side up here at the top right, we have those three little dots that we created earlier. If I click on this, you will see that we have this really nice menu that pops up. Now there's various strategies here. You guys can use this to promote your Instagram. You can use this as a primary menu, or you can just add anything you want here. You can get as creative and customizable as you want. So I'll show you guys how to create the pop-up and also this right side nav menu. Let's close that. All right, so first let's just create a normal pop-up. Let's go over here to our dashboard and we're now gonna see the options to create pop-ups since we have Elementor Pro. So over here, we'll go to templates and click on pop-ups. Here, I'll click on add a new pop-up. Here, we'll just leave this as pop-up and we can also give our pop-up a name. So this can be like our promotional pop-up, right? Promo pop-up. And then I'll click on create a template. So here is a list of pop-ups and you guys can go ahead and just you know browse here. And if you guys find one that you like, you can just go ahead and select one. But let me show you guys how to create one from scratch just in case you guys don't wanna use a template. So I'll go ahead and close that. Here we have the plus icon. And for the structure, we're gonna select the one with four squares. Now we're gonna modify this a little bit, right? So I wanna take this and I'm gonna push it up right here to 100%, right? 100%, there we go. Now I'm gonna drag an image in there. I'll drag an image right there. Choose the image. And we're gonna put this guy right here. All right, now for the other parts, I'm gonna take this heading text and this will be like, get our, you know, subscribe for free stuff or whatever. You guys can put anything there, right? And for the style, we'll go ahead and change this to Poppins. And next we're going to find the form. We have not used the form yet. I'll walk you guys through how to do that. So right here, form. And I wanna get rid of message. And we're just going to leave email only, right? So just the email. And then of course, under the styling tab, under the button, this is where we can style it. So you might just wanna change like the background color, you know, to something else like this, uh, this black right there, right? And I also wanna get rid of this email right here. So we have email twice, so we can actually get rid of that. Over here under label, I'll go ahead and uncheck label. Next, I will simply right click and delete this one and voila, we now have a beautiful pop-up and this is going to pop up depending on what we wanna do. So next, let's actually connect this with an email provider so we can collect emails. Right here, you'll see action after submits. And then here we have collect submission and then we also have emails. So if you click on plus right here, you're gonna see that you can actually uh, integrate this with some uh, email providers, right? So we have MailChimp, Drip, ActiveCampaign. 
You guys will pick whatever email provider that you guys are using and select it. And then you guys can integrate the API key right here. So I'm using MailChimp. So I'll go ahead and select MailChimp here. And then under collect submissions, I'm sorry, under MailChimp, you're gonna see that there is a spot now where you can insert the API. I'm gonna go to my MailChimp account right here and we're going to create a new key. All right, this is gonna be for the new website and I'll generate a key. I'll be very honest guys, uh, I usually recommend MailChimp for a lot of my videos, but they keep changing their interfaces and they're getting more and more expensive like as the years go on, so I might stop recommending them. They are easy to get started with. They are definitely a little bit pricey now. So here we have the API key. I'll go ahead and put a custom one here and paste it in there. Once that's done, you can see that Elementor is integrated with MailChimp and now they can see our lists. So I'll select the list. And then of course you can select groups and everything and stuff like that. And you can also put in the field mapping here if you want for email. I'll just select email and that's it. Cause I'm just selecting, you know, I'm just basically capturing only emails at this point. If you guys do want to add more fields here, you can add fields and then you can uh, put in like name and first name and stuff like that. So that is pretty much it. That's how you guys can connect your pop-up with an email provider. And then once you're done, just click on update. And now this pop-up will start collecting email addresses on your website. So now let's set the conditions. Over here, I'll click on publish. So now we have a few options. On the left side, we have conditions. This is basically saying, where do you want to display your templates? Triggers is saying, depending on the user's action, I want to show the pop-up when a user performs a specific action. And then we have advanced rules where specific requirements must be met in order for the pop-up to show up. So here we have conditions. I'll go ahead and add a condition. And here I'll put singular and we can obviously select specific pages, just like we did before with the uh, header and the footer builder. We can do the same thing here with the pop-up. So I'll put home. All right. And yeah, so I'll just close that, make sure that's good. All right. Now we're gonna select a trigger. So it's on the home page, right? But depending on what they do on the home page, where when should this show up, right? So we have page load on scroll, you know, on click, after inactivity, or you know, on page exit intent. Page exit intent means when the user wants to close the browser. So before they close the browser, a pop-up will display there. I'll just do something very basic. You know, I'll just say, you know what, pop up in 10 seconds. That's it. Advanced rules is for example, how many times should this pop up? Show when arriving from search engines, external tabs, internal links, you know, uh, show arriving from specific URLs. This is a great way on how to find out if people are actually, um, you know, finding your website or coming from a specific URL. Here we have show up X times. I'll just put show once per session, once per day, once per week, once per month, but I will leave at one per session. Tell you what, no, wait, 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 we'll, we'll do two. We'll do two per session, okay? After we have set those conditions, triggers, and rules, now let's click on save and close. All right, now let's open this in a new browser. So I'll go to an incognito window here. We're gonna enter in the URL and press enter. Now the pop-up should display after 10 seconds. So if we scroll down a little bit here and we wait just about 10 seconds, there it is. All right, cool. So now you'll see that we have this pop-up here and then I can close the pop-up. All right, so congrats. We now know how to make pop-ups for our website. So now that I showed you guys how to create a pop-up, let me show you guys how to create a side nav menu. I don't even know if that's the right term, if it's side nav menu or side pop-up menu. There's a lot of different terms you can, uh, you can give it. But uh, if someone goes to your website and clicks on something, a beautiful right side menu will open up. On my website, DarylWilson.com, on all the templates that we create, we have a majority of these, uh, these side nav menus because they just look great. It looks really easy on the eye and it just makes your site look really professional. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how to create one from scratch. So now let me teach you guys how to create pop-ups on your website via click. So for example, here I'll click on this and then you'll see that we have this really beautiful menu. And of course, you guys can turn this into pretty much anything that you want. The sky is the limits. So let me walk you guys through on how to do that. Let's go back here to our dashboard. Now we're gonna go to the templates and we'll go to pop-ups. 
And now we're gonna create a new pop-up. Add new. And this will be like side menu, right? Now click on create a template. All right, now we're gonna close this. And we do need to set some options here. On the bottom left of the screen, you're gonna see settings. Here, I wanna select this to right. Next, I'm gonna select the top. Here we have height. So I'm gonna select fit to screen. Now I wanna reduce the size of this, something like maybe 470, right? 470. Now for the entrance animation, I'm gonna select slide and right, slide and right. And when people close it, we're gonna find slide out right. And for the animation, we're gonna reduce the size of this, something like 0.5. There you go. Now to change the color, we'll go over here to style. And then for the background type, I'll click classic. And then here's where we can adjust the color, right? So I'll make it like a, a subtle black, something like that right there. Okay, not, not like pitch black, but that's like a very soft, subtle black. All right, so I think we're ready now. Now we have the nav menu here ready on the right side. Now let's add in a container. I'll click on plus and we'll add in a container. And now we're just gonna add in elements. So over here, I'll find the, I think we have the logo, right? Site logo, site logo. And then I'll adjust the options here under style. I'll make this a little bit smaller, all right? I think 40 is good, right? And then below that, I will throw in some description. We'll style this just a bit. Reduce the amount of text there. Uh, I think that's fine, actually. Next, I'm gonna add in an icon right here. So, icon list. Take this, and I'll drag it right there. I'm gonna delete these ones right here. And for the icon list, I'm now gonna use Instagram. Then click on insert. Now I wanna center this. So I'm over here, I will align this in the center, but we have a lot of styling to do. So I'll go ahead and style this really quick. All right, so there's the Instagram. Now we're gonna find the image gallery. So we have a basic gallery, image carousel. There's a few options here and I'll just go ahead and upload some images. So I'll put this guy here, right? Insert into gallery. We can add in some more, right? So add to gallery. See if I can hold shift here, there we go. Oh, that's too many, not, not, not those ones. Those ones are ugly, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that'll work. Add these to the gallery, so we have a total of eight. I'll insert that into the gallery. And now we have these images right here that display. Now we have a few styling options, so we can change the amount of columns. And I think I changed my mind here. You know, we're gonna do maybe three columns Okay, so I went ahead and I adjusted six images and I put it in three columns. Now we're gonna add in another icon list. Drag and drop it right below there. We're gonna select two. And for the layouts, I wanna inline these. And then I can put these also in the center. Now I'm gonna quickly go ahead and style these really quick. All right, so there is the icon list. Now we're going to throw in some social icons here. Finish it off with some social icons. There we go. And we can also style this right here under the style. So you can change it from the official to custom. So there we go. I went ahead and I styled those social icons, you know, to fit the style and criteria of the website. Also remember, you guys can add a menu here. So if you wanna turn this into like a full on menu here under nav menu, I'll just drop that right there. And we can even go ahead and style this. So I'll put it this in the center. And there you go. So now we have that fully styled menu. Now, the last thing that we have to do here is we just need to properly align this because as you guys can tell, uh, this is way too close to the top and then we have a lot of space here at the bottom. This can all be done with the Fluxbox options. So I'll click on the six dots here. Now over here on the left side, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna set a minimum height. So I first need to adjust the minimum height to 100. Now for the direction, we're gonna select vertical for the justify contents, I want this in the center. And you also do have an option here to align this to like the start or to the center or to the end, just depending on how you wanna approach it. But I'm gonna put mine in the center. You guys can also use the gap between elements. And here you can add a little bit more space between the elements. So now that we created it, let's publish it. So here, click on publish. So now we have the publish settings, but we are not gonna select any page settings whatsoever. I'll just click on next next and save and close. All right, now let's go back and find that pop-up. So let's go back 
to exit. And now let's go visit the website. Now let's turn on the builder. Here, I'll click on edit with Elementor. And I wanna click on edit header. Now let's go over here to the three dots. So right here, you're gonna see link. There's also link options. And then we also have dynamic tags. Let's click on dynamic tags. And then if we scroll down, you're gonna see pop-up. So I'll click on pop-up. Then I'll click on pop-up again. And now we can select the specific pop-up. So I think mine was called like the, the menu, right? Nav menu or something like that. There we go, side menu. There we go. Then I'll close out and I'll click on update. So now let's test it out. Here I'll exit the builder. And if I go over here to the right side and I click on the three dots, you will then see we have our beautiful menu pop up. And if I close it, you will see it slides out. Really, really nice. So that's how you guys can create a side nav menu using the Elementor pop-ups. All right, party people. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. There are tons of different uh, ways you guys can use the pop-up builder to create really nice side nav menus. If you guys go to our website and just check out our templates, there are tons and tons of examples where you can use it for e-commerce, you can use it to show blog posts, or just make a normal side nav menu. And it actually looks really slick on mobile devices and tablet devices. So it's really worth a try to implement it on your website. As always, party people, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy.